Well, Gabby, we're calling these nationwide school uh, walkouts, but at the end of the day, these students are still cutting class. And though we're told that all protests here in Greenville County were peaceful and respectful, uh, there still are repercussions that these students must face. In the wake of the nationwide school walkouts, the debate is polarizing. But Greenville County Schools can all agree that actions have consequences. There are going to be people who say they should not have been allowed to walk out and miss class. There are going to be people who say that we should not punish them for doing so um, based on the fact that they were protesting and part of a national movement. Um, but where we decided to come down was somewhere in the middle. The schools handing out warnings for first time students who essentially cut class as they demanded action on gun violence. But for these these four students at Beck Academy, they're in the clear. That's because instead of walking out, they walked up. You're walking up to other people and just introducing yourself, which can create new bonds and friendships instead of walking out, which um, it could be sometimes dangerous. In their own way, they honored the memory of the 17 killed in last month's Florida school shooting <laughs> while facilitating an environment to prove that kindness is cool. It makes me proud and I'm sure it makes all the other students here proud to know that we're part of an anti-bullying movement and make, making people feel like they belong. Hoping to show that oftentimes change begins with how you treat others. Change doesn't only come in one day, it comes in several days and it's a progression that makes change. Now, these students tell me that they still supported their peers who chose to walk out. The principal of Beck Academy tells me that 85 eighth graders chose to do so. We're live in Greenville County. Madeline Hackett, WIFF News 4.